What's up, guys? It's your boy, The Bad Wolf. All right, so um, thank you for tuning in. If this is your first time, don't forget to hit that bell and subscribe. Um, and I see that you guys are doing this. I mean, I'm getting almost, I don't even know, nearly 100 people every, every, every day and every day and a half uh, subscribing. So thank you. And thank you for the people who have joined the paid monthly subscription service. It means a lot because um, now I can finally afford to get the rest of the light bulbs in here. And with one more payment from you, I will have a full set of four lights and I will make sure that uh, it doesn't sh uh, sh have any shadows like this. And I look like Bruce Wayne, Batman, Bruce Wayne, Batman. Okay? <laughs> Thank you guys for the support. Let's go. All right. So this is from the IRS website. This is what's known as relief procedures for certain former citizens. Okay, so remember guys, the way they talk, they code everything so that it's blurry. They like to blur the lines, like to make it fuzzy. They don't want to just come out and say, this is for people who aren't U.S. citizens or no longer are or who've done a revocation of Social Security number and closed their accounts, things of that nature. But let's take a look, okay? What is it about? Who does it apply for? How can I use it? Remember, it's for certain former citizens. All right, the IRS announced procedures for certain persons who have relinquished or intend or intend to relinquish their United States U.S. citizenship and who wish to come into compliance with their U.S. income tax and reporting obligations, if there are any, um, and avoid being taxed as a covered expatriate. Mm, expatriate sounds like you, you left something here a covered expatriate under Section 877A of the United States Internal Revenue Code, the IRC. Please read all the information for these procedures, including frequently asked questions and answers, facts to determine your, your eligibility, relinquishing a U.S. citizenship, and the tax implications of relinquishing said U.S. citizenship are serious matters. And that involved irrevocable decisions. That's not so. Why? Because you can always reapply if you really want to be a, a U.S. citizen or stay here long enough and become naturalized as a U.S. citizen again. But shh, we'll just leave that alone. That's educational information only. Entertainment. I'm just a madman in a box, remember? So consider consulting legal counsel before making any of the decisions and relinquishing your U.S. citizen. Now, that I do agree with. You should ponder all of the ins and outs before doing such. Educational information only. This information is now in a box. I'm going to use their stuff. Four corners rule. Wait, wait, over here. Box. Beep. Okay. So, if you're going to do this, you definitely want to look at all the things that can be affected. Okay? Whether it's from legal counsel or whoever, whatever. Um, but, uh, yeah, you do have options. So, just make sure that you do this properly and that it's something you want to do. Now, we're in a box, so this is off the record, but some people have used this to improve their situations when dealing with certain issues, liabilities, and whatever else. That's all I'm going to say, okay? Box is now back open. This is now in the public domain. All right, so the Department of Treasury, the Department of State, the Internal Revenue Service, and the Social Security Administration have prepared a brief frequently asked questions document on obtaining social security numbers, expatriation, and tax in, uh, implications of expatriation. It's probably a document you want to read. All right, so um, background. The 14th Amendment of the United States Constitution provides that all persons born or naturalized in the United States Corporation <coughs> are citizens of the United States Corporation. <coughs> which, with very limited exceptions for individuals, you know, the small limit, the small number of people born in the United States, geographically the United States is what they mean, used here, um, with diplomatic agent level immunity. Wait a minute, say that again? Those born with diplomatic agent level immunity. I've been trying to find out more information on that. Because we happen to know that 
there's aspects of what statuses we have applied for that give us this. It's just nice to see the name. Okay, so all persons born in the United States acquire U.S. citizenship at birth, meaning if you were born in Washington, D.C., because that's where the United States is located. If you look up location of the debtor, a person born abroad, meaning outside of that domiciled federal jurisdiction, to a U.S. citizen, parent, or parents acquired U.S. citizenship at birth if the parent or parents meet conditions specified in the U.S. Immigration and Nationality Acts. They like to really bury this stuff. At this point, most people are like, I, you lost me. I don't even know what's going on. Anyway, don't worry about it. So, uh, compliances. Uh, an adult U.S. citizen may relinquish U.S. citizenship consistent with the requirements under Section 349 of the Immigration and Nationality Act, 8 U.S.C. 1481. Okay. Um, and they're saying here, basically, set by the Department of State, so that's why I tell people send your affidavits of status to the Department of State, the U.S. consular fee for this process requesting a certificate of loss of nationality is $2,350. And this fee cannot be waived. Um, compliance with this, blah, 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 goes on. Well, we do know that there are ways to get that waived, but essentially that's normally, that's what it is. You just have to pay that if you want to get out of the federal U.S., um, there's also other ways. We've talked about that in the other videos. So watch all the other videos to learn how. All right. Uh, but here they're talking about, um, so we're at for time. Here we have time. Okay, so basically they're saying that this benefit that it waives you from having to pay things and do whatever only applies, one, if the individual has an average annual net income of tax liability of the five years preceding that point in time, for the year of expatriation that exceeds a specified or specific amount adjusted for inflation, for example, $160,000 for 2016, $160,000 for 2017, blah, 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 blah. So you basically, Okay, so the individual has an average annual net income of tax liability of the five years preceding that that exceeds a specified amount adjusted. So it has to be more than, um, they're just using these numbers for an example. They don't tell exactly what they have to be, but they're saying it as an example. But then, too, it goes on to say, the individual has a net worth of $2 million or more as of the expatriation date net worth test or the individual cannot certify okay certify a certificate federal jurisdiction under penalties of perjury on form 8854 initial and annual expatriation statement that the individual is compliant with all federal tax obligations for the five years preceding the tax year that the individual patriot expatriated to meet these, yeah, you got to get the uh, form 8854 and all that stuff. So relief procedures. Um, okay, these procedures are only available. So the relief part of it, if the U.S. citizens with a network of less than two million at the time. Okay, so in order to get the true benefits of this from Financial CEN form 114, uh, well, we don't talk about formally, including eight, form 8938 and under IRC 8877A, in order to, to uh, benefit from it, you have to make less than $2 million and have less than $25,000 for the previous, in money currently outstanding for the previous five years. So the so they're basically saying if you make more than two million dollars over one hundred and sixty some thousand dollars that uh, this is not going to benefit you. But in order, if you want to get a benefit, then you have to do it underneath that form, 
um, and specify that. So they're basically saying, here's the line. If you make less than this, here's your relief. If you make more than this, here's how it can still benefit you if you're in that same situation. All right. Um, and then it says, for a helpful video, um, they've got a link here to relief procedures for certain former citizens. Um, and it's a webinar that you can watch to learn more about that. Um, and then they've got some questions and some answers. So basically, that's it, guys. So if you want to look it up, it's on the IRS website under Individuals, International Taxpayers, Relief Procedures for Certain Former Citizens. Relief. Because, yeah, let's make it complicated. <laughs> All right, guys, don't forget to hit that bell, like, subscribe, and the way out. Thank you guys for watching the videos. Take care of yourself. Stay wise, stay woke, stay aware, stay warm, because it's chilly as AF here. Uh, and that being said, stay healthy. Don't forget to hit that bell, like, subscribe, and the way out. Tell your friends about the channel if you like the information. And don't forget to join the Bad Wolf Media channel. Check out the uh, store down below for the shirts. I got shirts down below, hoodies, cups, mugs. I even got stuff for the kids because the Bad Wolf love the kids. It's like bibs and, you know, little stuff with my logo on there and lots of helpful information. If you're out there in the normal world traveling and doing commerce, the stuff that you can have on your shirt that help, you know, your status is already on there, all right? Or just represent the channel. Spread the word. Most of it's only like 15 or 20 bucks. Do it. If you're not going to send a donation, get a shirt. All right. That's about it, guys. Thank you for supporting. And those people who actually have already done that, thank you for being the first people to jump on that. I think we still have less than like 50 people. Um, so support your boy if you can. If you see them you like, cool, rock it. Comes, all this stuff comes in different colors and different logos. So get it. All right. Talk to you guys later. Bad Wolf's out. Oh, if you see anybody using my stuff inappropriately, report them. I appreciate you in advance. Talk to you guys later. Have a good one.